don't know. I thought for sure that would go as dry and old as these are. But it's just twisting my jack. Three tons though, that may not be enough. Be good enough for me. I may flip it over and do one on the inside since I'm gonna grind it off to a point, sort of. So I will have plenty of weld. So I decided for the blade, I cut a piece of this stuff I have in the back. Um, I just cut this little channel piece off of it, the angle side, um, and it's pretty, pretty beefy, as you can see. So down there, and then I'm going to weld this up to the top here. And I'll probably grind this little lip off. I should have cut it some more on there, but I want to weld that up there to make the blade. Otherwise, it'd be a whole bunch of grinding. Well, that ain't very good, but I'm going to finish it out with a long stick so I can get in those two grooves right there and then right across there. Okay, so I'm gonna just test it out. Um, if it works with this jack, I'm gonna go ahead and buy that Harbor Freight Air Jack or wait and decide if I wanna go ahead and make it hydraulics with one of those two motors that we have sitting over there doing nothing. Um, but for now, I just made this little spacer. Hopefully that'll be enough. I don't wanna cut one of these pipes. So the other one's too long, this one's a little too short, but it should get it up there and at least be able to put some pressure on there and uh, see if it's gonna work. These are my, the only reason I made this is because these are two year old logs and they're, they're pretty much gone already. So it shouldn't take too much uh, to split them anyway. That's my hope anyway. Let's try it front wise with that bar on it. Let's see what happens. This. Now that might work better. I think my pole is going to snap. 
the board. I need to put it in a welded plate or something. Yeah. All right, back to the drawing board for my little ram. I need to weld something up, so I'll give it a test tomorrow. Okay, let's just try another log. I tried that two inch uh, square, that didn't work either. They all want to rock, so maybe with the big footprint of the log, it'll work out. Feels like it wants to come this way still. Okay, there we got the pressure on welds now. I need that blade sharpened so it bites into it. I don't know. I thought for sure that would go as dry and old as these are. But it's just twisting my jack. Three tons though, that may not be enough. Hmm. Maybe I'll have to get that jack to try it out. Of course, that puts some stress on my welds. So, I think I'm just going to post this out there and let you all decide. Tell me if I need to get a ram or just a bigger jack. I haven't really seen anything other than a 5 ton, even on the electric ones. So, without the momentum, you know, like a kinetic one or something, maybe you just got to have a lot of pressure. So, I'm not sure, but uh, if you can leave comments down there, let me know. I thought for sure with this jack um, that it would work just you know three tons split these old things right in two with no problems so i'm not sure if i need to uh sharpen this up a little bit it's kind of blunt not real bad you know it's just a piece of that channel so i'm not really sure if it needs to be sharpened up some more and then my plate held down there with the uh i put that pipe in the middle you know, that pipe in the middle to give it a little bit more uh support and then i don't know so, yeah, if you can help me out, leave comments. Maybe I just need that bottle jack. I think it's a 20-ton bottle jack or something like that from, and that, that a lot of people put in those. I'm going to go in and look on Northern Tool and see what size they have in their little foot press one um, and see if that's maybe my problem. All right, well, thanks for watching, and as always, we'll catch you in the next video.